I'd love to live in a country where the white supremacists are black. What was that crack was the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Kevin Bridges. Love this geezer. This is terrorism does have a negative side. Okay, let's go. They, they get their applications get expelled. They get accused of lying, lying about being in danger. I think if somebody's prepared to travel thousands of miles in the back of a lorry, starving themselves for weeks, risking their lives at the border controls just to get a council flat in Sight Hill, <laughs> something's frightening the shit at them. The BNP. This year they get forced to allow non-white people to join the BNP. I thought that was pretty cool. I'd encourage people from every ethnic group to join the BNP. You know, let's ruin their party. <laughs> I'd love to live in a country where the white supremacists are black. <laughs> I'm supposed to be racist. How's <laughs> no way. When the white supremacists are black, oh god. <laughs> That's Gene, imagine. Imagine, oh god. What a guy. Gee, who's this guy? How's she in my team? <laughs> <laughs> we would feed a bit of racial animosity in this city, in Glasgow, when we get our terrorist attack. Remember that? Glasgow Airport, we got our own little terrorist attack. Pretty proud of that. <laughs> Kind of put us on the map. <laughs> Islamic fundamentalists attacked New York, Madrid, London, and then Glasgow. <laughs> we were fucking flattered. <laughs> My dad had a tear in his eye. It's a proud day, son. <laughs> That's us on the telly. Look, I've been there. Uh -huh. I've parked there. <laughs> and everybody had a laugh, but terrorism does have a negative side. <laughs> it did create a kind of racial divide. I witnessed this firsthand on a train going down south, on this train. Just me sitting here and a middle-aged guy sitting just along a bit. Now, a couple of stops later, a woman of Asian appearance boarded the train and sat beside the middle-aged guy who immediately stood up and walked away. Wow. You ever seen that film with snakes on a plane? <laughs> and this was Jake's on a train, right? That's funny. <laughs> right? Walked away. <laughs> the middle-aged guy stood up and just walked away and sat beside me. <laughs> he started to nudge me. Well, that way a scumbag presumes that you're also going to be a scumbag. <laughs> Nudging me, and he's pointing. And he said, I don't, I don't fancy sitting beside her pal. No chance. She'll be one of the, one of the suicide bombers. I'm taking no chances. Sorry, are you stupid? You're, this, you're still in the same carriage, you're still in the same train. <laughs> How stupid can you be? And you know what's mad? I know this is meant to be a comedy stand-up, but this kind of stuff happens. I see it happening loads of times. If I'm on the train, on a bus, wherever. You kind of, obviously, it's not this blatant, but you can tell sometimes people feel like, oh, I don't want to see this. I'm like, no one's going to blow you up. Relax, mate. Relax. <laughs> Let me know about your experience if you've ever seen something like this. I thought I can see your logic here, mate. You thought she might be a suicide bomber, so you've came and sat four seats away. <laughs> Seriously underestimating the power of Semtex. <laughs> Thinks he's got a stink bomb. Sorry, speaking of stink bombs, they're disgusting. Remember in secondary school, I'm sure everyone has experience in secondary school, primary school, there's always that one guy that brings a stink bomb in like every three, four months. And it's this first time I smelled it, like, what the fuck is that? It's disgusting. Oh, it's oh no, it's, no, it's like shite on shite on shite. Let me know if you experience stink bomb. It's just it's nasty. 
This is the jihad for Allah. Oh, that is fucking both in here. <laughs> Window, smelly Taliban bastards. Oh. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Somebody get a can of Febreze, there's been a terrorist attack. <laughs> that is absolutely minging. But you're stuck with a guy the whole way. Going down south, going to London. The guy said, Are you going to London? And I said, oh, I'm going to London. And he said, I don't like London. Okay. Guys like me and you, mate, we're the foreigners in London. They're coming over here, mate, and they're speaking Punjabi. <laughs> I don't know the way the guy said Punjabi, it was pretty funny. They're speaking Punjabi. <laughs> they're wearing these burkas, mate. This is our country. If they want to come into our country, they should at least be adapting to our culture. And I'm looking at this guy, thinking, I bet when he goes abroad, he really blends in. <laughs> Walking about Lanzarote, looking for a Greggs. <laughs> you don't understand my accent? A daily record, you dick. That was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed that. This guy's a legend, man. He's so, so good. It, like, it brings you in, you know, it just out of nowhere, just drops it. Drops it. His punchline timing, unbelievable. I'm sure he's definitely Scottish. You know, they spend some time in living in London as well, because sometimes when he uses, when he switches, not this time, I think last one I did, he switches to an English a English London accent, that was actually very, very good, I was very, very impressed, but yeah, you guys want to see more of Kevin Bridges, you know what to do, I keep saying it, make sure you're liking, you're commenting, you're subscribing, I want to go deep, 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 deep down into the best of British comedy, British, Scottish, Irish, whatever you want to call it, American, we're going to do American, we're doing American as well, I'm posting twice a day, so I'm posting between 6 and 7 p.m., I'm posting British comedy between 11 and 12 p.m. I'm posting American comedy. But yeah, you guys comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.